Hey friends, Kevin here. Myself and my friend Dave are off to find the gravesite of singer, songwriter, and actor Mel Tillis. And for someone this famous and this successful, his grave is not really where you think it would be. So let's go. In this little itty bitty church country cemetery, we have Mr. Mel Tillis. I wonder what that symbol is. In Looks like Mel was a veteran. And I'm not sure what that little symbol is in the center. I'm going to have to look that up. Or if you guys know, put that down in the description for me. So I'm not sure what that little symbol between the dates. So I don't know if he was just from this little community. There's a few more Tillises buried near him. Maybe that was his church. Rest in peace, Mel. You gave us some good laughs when we were young. Taught you how to handle bullies. Taught you how to handle bullies. So a few more things I found out about Mel. He was born in the Tampa, Florida area. He grew up in Florida. He went to a university in Florida for a while until he quit and went into the Air Force. While in the Air Force, he had some bands going. That's, I guess, is how he got into his musical career. And eventually he ended up moving like all the dreamers did back in the day to the Nashville, Tennessee area. And he was one of those dreamers who made it. It was not an overnight success by any means, but after a decade or so, he started having success. And in the seventies, especially, the guy was huge. He was all over television, all over variety shows. People just loved him. They loved his personality. They liked the little skits and things he did that involved stuttering. And, you know, people didn't have back then the internet to go to to find out things. So people were amazed at, you know, here's someone who stutters like this and is able to sing a song perfectly. And people, it was a mixture of fascination and disbelief. And most people just thought it was the whole stuttering thing was an act. Well, in fact, the stuttering thing wasn't an act. This was an issue that he had had in childhood that came on after an illness. So the stuttering thing, at least from childhood and having to grow up with that, it was real. And there's another great singer, Bill Withers, who had a stuttering issue also as a child growing up and ended up being a huge, huge success in the music business. So it's just one of those or two of those lessons, two people that anyone can draw inspiration on. Don't let things stand in your way. Neither one of these guys did. Everybody was just a normal Joe once upon a time before they got famous. Mm -hmm. And I understand that because I was just a normal bloke before this YouTube fame from my 27 viewers was thrust upon me. And like myself or Mel or anyone else that has fame thrust upon them, we carry the weight. It's not a burden we chose to bear, but it's one we will bear.